We're tracking reaction this morning to a new round of Canadian sanctions on Israeli settlers in the West Bank. Ottawa says the seven Israelis have taken part in extremist violence. Punitive measures are also targeted at five entities, including settler organizations. CBC News senior international correspondent Margaret Evans is leading our team on the ground in the region, and she's near Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Margaret, what is the Israeli reaction today? Well, the reaction from the ultranationalists who support the annexation of the West Bank and support settlements as uh, a potential, well, a block to a potential uh, Palestinian state in the future, of course, have roundly condemned the sanctions. Uh, Israel currently has the uh, the most hard right, extreme right government in its history. Um, in its cabinet, it has, uh, as the national security minister, someone called Itamar Ben Gvir. He has been arrested in the past on inciting on racism. He's been in, convicted of supporting a terrorist organization. He condemned this, the Canadian sanctions on Twitter, saying uh, that this was harassment. Uh, by the Canadian government of settlers. He called it an anti-Semitic act. A fellow cabinet minister, Bezalil Smotrich, which has a lot of control over the occupied West Bank, which is where, of course, I'm speaking to you from, he said that it should be condemned that this was basically a reward for Hamas terrorists. Now, as for the people on the list, our producer, Sylvia Thompson, spoke earlier with one of them, a woman called Daniela Weiss. She's been called the mother other of the settlement or the settler movement in some quarters. She said she wasn't particularly bothered. She's been to Canada. She has no need to go again. Her message was basically that Canada should mind its own business. She supports the uh, resettlement of the Gaza Strip if and when the war there ends. Um, the other uh, people and entities on the group are things like the Hilltop Youth. These would be young Israeli ultranationalists who sometimes take over a hilltop. They would set up an outpost, which are considered illegal uh, by Israel. Of course, the international community considers all settlements, whether they're outposts or proper settlements, like the one behind me, uh, illegal. Um, so it's obviously, you know, hit some nerves here. And of course, it's not new. We've We've seen the same movements recently from the United States, from Britain, from France, trying to target the increased settler violence that has, has happened since this government came into being. Watch groups say that settlers, violent settlers, have been emboldened uh, by those governments. And uh, the figures from the United Nations are that over since October 7th, since the uh, attacks by Hamas that we saw uh, last year uh, against uh, Israeli settlements in Gaza since that and the war in Gaza, more than 800 attacks have taken place against Palestinians by extremist settlers and groups. So, Margaret, what has been the Palestinian reaction? Well, as you can imagine, they support these kinds of measurements They or, or these measures. They say the settlements are already, uh, um, you know, a block, a prohibition to the path towards Palestinian statehood. There are about 500,000 Israeli settlers now sitting, uh, living in the West Bank amongst 3 million Palestinians. We spoke with uh, the uh, assistant minister to uh, the Palestinian Foreign Affairs Ministry earlier this week who was calling on Canada to take further measures. Uh, he would like to see Canada recognize a Palestinian state as some other uh, countries have already done. We contacted him today for his reaction to these measures and of course he said step in the right direction for Canada. They would like to see uh, more steps in that direction and as I said the recognition of Palestinian statehood. Thanks for this, Margaret. That's CBC News senior international correspondent Margaret Evans in the occupied West Bank.